striker. <laughs> what is thinking hard me? Uh, oh, now I remember. Uh, I don't think it's gonna appear here. Don't don't try it on the waking up soon screen. It's not gonna show up anything. <laughs> But um, if you do it when I uh, open up my game screen, you'll be able to see it's mostly uh, you see a lot of mathematics like floating around in the, the screen. <laughs> Hi Flame! Yeah, I had added a ton of new redeems. So you guys can have fun with that. <laughs> what? How are you doing? I'm doing good. Yeah. Not much has happened, pretty much. Justice! Hello, everyone. We are back for some more justice. <laughs> Today we are still on um, the second chapter, but we are going into our first trial. I think it's a two-part trial. That's good that it's good. Yeah, it is good. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry with the camera. Whenever I grab something behind the camera, it ends up uh, I end up jerking around like this. Alright, let's do this. I was having a minute there to find my mouse. So we did go a little bit into the court case, but I decided a little bit early on to uh, leave it for today instead of yesterday. So we're gonna just go through this trial and then we're going to save. <laughs> Unless it's a short, short trial, then we could probably go into the investigation as well. Thank you for the head pads, Dreary. Hi, Dreary. What? It's Peter von Karma? You mean? No, I heard it's his, it's his successor this time. Successor? Man friend Von Karma was a really sinister man. Pulled all sorts of na nasty tricks so he could win. He was a man obsessed with the word perfection. He had a perfect record for 40 long years. Who knows what kind of dirty tricks he got on each of his... Each of the those guilty verdicts. And now his successor. I wonder what kind of person they turned out to be. He is a perfect old fart. <laughs> it's no good. Mystic Maya. Oh, it's it's Pearly. Hi, boy. Thank you. Hi. How are you? You showed up. Thank you for coming all this way. I was really worried about you. Hey, where's your mother? Didn't you two come together? Mother is watching over the trainees. She says she has training for two days straight with no breaks. Huh? Then, then you came all by yourself? Wait, I gotta meet real quick. All Gucci now. <laughs> um, making sure I do not accidentally mute myself for like 20 long minutes <laughs> like I did the other times. Oh my gosh. Yup, I snuck out of the manor and followed a map. Don't tell me you walked off the way here. Of course not. I ran. <laughs> That's. I can't. Oh my. If it takes two hours by train, oh man. Wait, what about the train? Huh? What's a train? I give up. It's time, isn't it? Um, I'm really scared. What if Von Karma tries to do something to me? At least I know Mr. Edgeworth would be nicer to me than Von Karma. Mr. Edgeworth? Who is that? Um, he's Nick's rival. Well, he's also a friend. Yeah, they're doing a little introduction of all the, the prosecutors. I still remember him as though if I seen him only yesterday. 
every try was a scorchingly fierce battle until the very end. Hi, Ick, Joe! <laughs> it was always back and forth with them, but when you're rivals for life... Maya! Please don't mention that name ever again. Huh? But why, Nick? I'm... I'm sorry, Maya. I forgot you don't know. He... he's... He's gone, and he's not coming. What would happen to him? What happened to Edgeworth? He's not dead. <laughs> what? Wait, wait, wait a second. What's that supposed to mean? Court will commence shortly. Please proceed to the courtroom. Let's go. Now. Now's not the time to talk about that anyway. N Nick? What happened to Edgeworth? What if he's a defender, a defendant now? <laughs> there she is, in all her glory. I've seen gifs of her, and especially since I've seen memes of her as well. Uh, court is now in session for the trial of Maya Fey. This is the second time. <laughs> Are the prosecution and defense prepared? What is this kid? She does not look young. <laughs> Um, Mr. Wright? Are you prepared? Huh? Uh, uh, yes, Your Honor. Why does he always seem mad at me? And before he is suspect again, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You must be a little shocked because I'm a woman, correct? <laughs> Hold on. So she's the famed successor to Prosecutor Von Karma? I am Frank Chester and Von Karma the Prodigy. I see. I gave a promising career in Germany and came to this country for one sole reason. Revenge. <laughs> Revenge? Is this about a father man friend von Karma? Oh, um, if it's not something of a personal nature, I'm sure you can. How? <laughs> I'm talking. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Her famous whip. If you interrupt again, my whip will do the speaking for me. <laughs> Please, speak with your mouth like a normal person. I beg of you. Ow! <laughs> Make no mistake, I will defeat you. <laughs> Prepare to go down, Mr. Wright. <laughs> Prosecutor Von Karma, your opening statement, please. Those Von Karma blood will only have one fate. And that is... Perfection. <laughs> the defendant, Maya Fey, will have find no escape from her guilt from my watch. <laughs> this is my first time trying to do this kind of accent. <laughs> it's because whenever I see people trying to voice her, they sound like this. So I was like, well, I'll do that kind of voice too, because that's what I'm used to hearing. Very well. Uh, what is the defense's position? Your Honor. Does the defense wish to enter the plea of not guilty? Yes. Foolish fool. Who foolishly dreams of foolish dreams? <laughs> What's the wrong? She just keeps foolish. Ten minutes. I will give the defense ten minutes before it changes its plea. That's right. I will have you running for the justified de self-defense plea in no time. Justified self-defense? A plea usually is reserved for when a person unintentionally kills in defense of themselves. You can very easily make a solid case, that is, if it was self-defense, but... The defense stands by the plea of not guilty, your honor. Because the plea justified self-defense is to say you did kill someone. How foolish. If that's how you want to play it, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Then I shall now call the first witness. She's just as scary as her father. Like father, like daughter, I suppose. Witness, your name and occupation. Yes, sir. My name is Dick Gumshoe. I'm a detective at the local pre precinct. Yeah! <laughs> Get to the point already. Hi, Carol! <laughs> Explain to the court the details of this ma murder. Y yes, sir. Um, if anyone would please look at this map. The channeling chamber has no windows and the door was locked shut. At the time of the murder, only the victim and the defendant were in the room. 
What were they doing in there? Um, they, well, they were channeling a spirit, sir. Ch channeling a spirit? That's quite the look of disbelief there, Your Honor. Ahem. <laughs> anyway, a few minutes after the channeling started, gunshots were heard coming from inside the room, sir. A few of the witnesses broke the door down and rushed into the room. Ah, so that's when they found the victim was already dead, correct? I believe this is one of the most open and shut cases I've ever preceded before. Floor plans added to the court record. So, how was the victim killed? I was about to get to that. Stop wasting my time, then. Cause of death. The direct cause of death was the pistol shot on the forehead, sir. The shot was fired from point-blank range. But before the victim was shot, sir, he was stabbed in the chest. The wound was very severe, but it's not enough to cause instantaneous death. The murder was used as a pistol to finish the victim off after the stabbing. Hmm. So, the victim was stabbed before being shot. This is the victim's autopsy report, sir. Autopsy report added to the court record. The court accepts this into evidence, Mr. Wright. You may question the witness. It's all my finger-pointing time! The direct cause of death was a pistol shot on the forehead, sir. The murder weapon, Detective Gumshoe. Whose pistol was it? Okay. It was the victim's. The victim? Now, why would he have... Why would he have a pistol? Who cares? The point is that you're missing is whose fingerprints are on that pistol. If you're not already paying attention to that, then I should suggest you to start. Fingerprints? There were fingerprints? Along with the victims. The defendant and Maya Faze were also on the grip, sir. So the defendant's fingerprints were left on the murder weapon. Ugh, I walked right into her hands there. The shot was fired from a point-blank range. Oh, that wants attention, but I just started streaming. Point-blank, huh? So what about how far away is that? It's anywhere between 12 to 20 inches away. And how do you know he was shot point-blank? Tsk, tsk, tsk. Mr. Phoenix Wright. I grow tired of the foolish foolery of the foolish fools of the foolish country. <laughs> Hi, gear. I'm gonna hydrate right now. What, what do you want? Okay, I'm gonna see if he wants to leave the room. Do you wanna leave? Your, your partner is here. Alright, I'll, I'll just uh, open the door so he can leave. You. I didn't forget about you. I was just taking my cat out of the room. <laughs> Excuse me? Gunpowder burn. Gunpowder burn. When something is shot from point blank, a burn area is left around the bullet hole. A gunpowder exploding is what makes a bullet fire, but it's real hot, pal. And then there was definitely some gunpowder burns left on the victim's forehead. Wow, never knew that. Live and learn, I guess. Yeah, I learned that from Detective Conan. <laughs> I remember they were trying to prove a person had a suicide where he pointed uh, the gun straight at his, the side of his head. But the problem was, was that the angle of the gun was like not exactly like at an angle it was instead of, like point straight onto the head and stuff and 
also there was no gunpowder burns, like there was no burn marks and stuff, so it couldn't have been a suicide. Now this is like a totally complicated cases of this. This one, it was like point blank range and it had to sh prove that like he was shot very close. But yeah. But before the victim was shot, sir, he was stabbed in the chest. Stabbed? And what was he stabbed with? A fruit knife. I see. And whose knife was it? It looks like it belongs to the face, sir. And of course, my face fingerprints are all over it. Hmm, all over it, huh? Ugh. This does not look good. <laughs> What will you do now, Mr. Phoenix Wright? The wound was not very severe, but it was not enough to cause instantaneous death. How severe was the wound? If it had been half an inch more to the right, it would have hit the victim's heart. After a stab like that, it's impossible to fight back, let alone stand. This testimony makes it sound like Maya had stabbed him with the intent to kill. The murderer used the pistol to finish off the victim after the stabbing. Are you sure he was stabbed first then shot? Yup. Sure as sure can be. One look at the wounds and you'll come to the same conclusions, pal. A fool is a fool who will only listen to the foolish opinions of the other foolish fools. A pistol shot in the forehead at the point blank is certainly enough to kill instantly. Does it matter then which was first? A little bit more before you open that big mouth of yours, Mr. Phoenix Wright. <clears throat> what a pain! That's enough. We have clearly established how the victim was murdered. I brought two murder weapons with me today. Very well, the court accepts them into evidence. The pistol. And the knife. The date and time of death was June 19th at 3.15pm. Eyewitnesses claim to have heard the two gunshots at this time. And two murder weapons, both with the defendant's fingerprints on them, huh? Hmm, this does seem like an open and shut case. Naturally. This is going to be going from bad to worse! As if the summary just now wasn't oversimplifying things to the extreme. Your Honor, please feel free to slam that little gavel of yours. After all, there is no room left for doubt, is there? That is quite true, Mr. Wright. Yes? She's Tipo's in such a menace! Oh my gosh! Even in the face of all of this, do you still wish to plead her not guilty? It's the opinion of this court that you do not adjust your plea. You stand to lose. See? Just like I promised, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You would change your plea in less than 10 minutes. What will you do, Mr. Wright? Will you change to justify self-defense? Because there will be no time to do so. This is your final chance. This is a huge decision. I better think this through all the way. Plead not guilty. If we plead just justify self-defense, we'd basically be confessing to murder. After the trial, Maya's life would be ruined, and she'd be labeled a murderer. Right stream this time. Let's go! Hey, Blink! Yes, it's the right stream. I can't let this happen. You're on. Have you reached a conclusion, Mr. Wright? The defense will not change its plea. We will accept nothing short of a complete adequate. You. You have sealed your fate, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Detective! <laughs> yes sir! Present your final portion of your testimony. The final strike. Um, y yes sir. Now see here, proceedings are run by- Yeek! Oh yes, of course. Go ahead, detective, and give your testimony. I think the court would like to hear about this other piece of incriminating evidence. <laughs> Oh, and that felt weird when that came <laughs> Sorry, pal, but there was an even more incriminating piece of evidence. Why are we defending Maya? She clearly made several war crimes. <laughs> People keep like to like to frame Maya for 
for murder. What was the f oh yeah, the first reason was like she was sitting right next to her sister. And the this reason is because she wasn't even sure if she even did it or not because of um she was possessed. This is the costume the defendant was wearing at the time of the crime. As you can see, it's covered in blood. The defendant attacked and killed a person who, without a doubt, was not fighting back. So this was the costume. There clearly was evidence of a back s spray of blood on this. This piece directly links Maya Fey to the crime, sir. I see. This court accepts this into evidence. At this point, I'm more amazed if Maya isn't accused of murder. <laughs> because she looks like a killer. Is close. No, she does not look like a killer. She looks innocent. The other person, on the other hand, she looks like a murderer. She's, like, playing dumb. And then she's also related to the person who was- who died recently. All right, Mr. Wright. My fingerprints are on both the murder weapons and the blood splatters on her clothes. Could this situation get any worse? Huh. What's wrong? You seem to be at a loss. I think it's the last piece of testimony that the prosecution should have to offer. Feel free to soak with your tail between your legs, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Please stop calling me by my full name! It's disturbing! <laughs> she playing you as a jail-free card! <laughs> Sorry, pal, but there's even more incriminating piece of evidence. Why didn't you say so in your testimony earlier? Ugh. You're kind of scary today, you know, pal. Come now, Mr. Wright. There's no need for that kind of attitude in my court. Uh, all right, just please stop glaring at me like that. This is a costume of the defendant that was wearing at the time of the crime. Maya's costume? Yeah, she was wearing this when we arrested her. Maya, she's wearing her channeling costume today, too. Is she not allowed to wear anything else? As you can see, she's covered in blood. This blood is on the costume. Lab results show it's the victim's blood. So there is blood from the victim on the defendant's clothes. Definitely not good. So, was there any other clues that you gl glean from the piece of evidence? Um... Well... Okay, it's almost at midnight, gotta learn. Alright, Crow, sleep well! If you must change the topic, then the good detective here must testify again. But too bad. Not enough time. Let's move on. Uh, yes, Miss Von Karma is perfectly correct. Hello, Gimby! Now even the judge is on her side. But if I bite off more than I could chew here, what should I do? Press further. Why is Miss Von Karma suddenly putting up resistance? There must be a reason to as to why she suddenly threw an objection like that. There must be something about this costume. Is it the hole? <gasps> the hole! Oh my gosh, I see it! Was it that she was shot first, or was she shot from- No, she had to be shot first. I just have to look harder. Miss- Mr. Wright? Miss Von Karma's logic is perfect. There's no way for you to poke a hole in it- Ah! <laughs> you just said it! Ugh, it looks like my time is up. So about the costume, there's one thing. You're on. Actually, there is something very wrong with this piece of evidence. What? What are you talking about, pal? Where is this problem that you're talking about? Now I've come this far, there's no turning back now. The problem I have with this piece of evidence is here. That. I asked the court to please take a look at the sleeve of this costume. The sleeve? 
there's a tiny hole here. Uh, a hole? But that wasn't in the report. Hold on. What's this around the hole? It smells faintly of gunpowder. Gunpowder? No one ever told me. A hole that smells of gunpowder. Looks like I found the hole I was looking for. Your Honor, the only logical conclusion that you can make is that this must be a bullet hole. Order, order, order. This is a very grave matter. The best we could correct in the court record first before anything else. Maya's costume updated in the court record. Sorry about that. I guess I messed up, sir. Is she actually smiling? What else is she hiding? Oh my gosh, Jerry! 15 stream streak! Let's go! Thank you! No one told me. Best excuse, not gonna lie. <laughs> Pulling himself out of that one. Put yourself together, detective. That tiny hole doesn't change a thing. The strength of the evidence still holds. Continue your testimony. That just now was a fluke. Nothing more. Okay. How can you say something like that? This is a huge oversight. While I agree this is a mistake on the part of the police, what Prosecutor Von Karma has said is true. The evidence still stands. If you do not find more def definitive proof with the evidence, then... No way! Detective Gumshoe, please continue with the rest of your testimony. I yes, sir. There's a defendant attacked and killed a person who, without a doubt, was not fighting back. He wasn't fighting back? How do you know he wasn't? We couldn't find no evidence that the victim put any sort of struggle, pal. So, did the murderer have to fight the victim or not? Depending on this, the circumstances around this murder may change drastically. Oh, we're in real trouble now. Only had something to prove that the victim did fight back. Aha, we do. But from Karma, she thinks she could decide the verdict with his testimony alone. Well, I find a critical contradiction somehow, and then I'll have her. Your, your Honor, I can't answer, or else I get wiped. Your Honor, he's gonna wipe. She's gonna wipe the floor with me. Oh wait, no! Darn, I messed up. Come on. All right, there. This is where I want to present this. Objection! Detective Get Dick Gumshoe. Y yes <laughs> Having you call me by my full name is kind of weird feeling. <laughs> he said that, that cl my client killed a person without a doubt, was not fighting back. Yeah, I did. Well then what may I ask is a bullet hole you police overlook supposed to mean? Er, uh, um, what does it mean? I'll tell you what it means. It means that the victim had fired off a shot. Is that what it means to not fight back? Uh, you're right! It seems you are correct. If the victim tried to shoot the defendant then, it would change everything. Alright, the wind seems to be shifting. Huh. What are you- What is with the are you finished yet left? Laugh. Are you finished yet, Mr. Wright? Miss Von Karma? It seems that Miss Maya Fey was shot by the victim. However, that is only the grounds enough to support a justified self-defense plea. That is correct? But I am not sure you remember, Your Honor, that the defense clearly said. They rejected a self-defense and pleaded not guilty. Now that you- why, that's right! Which means... This offense has yet to prove anything at all. No! Well, yes, that's true. Furthermore... Just the fact that there is a bullet hole in the costume. There is not enough to substantiate even a plea of justified self-defense. Huh? How so? Ah! <laughs> Don't just stand there! Hurry up and tell the court what transpired that day. 
with the new information we acquired and added in, of course. Huh? You mean, by myself? You want me to put together a scenario all by myself? Ah! Yes, sir. Right away, sir. What transpired? During channeling, the defendant saw her chance to stab the victim in her chest. Of course, the victim used the last of her strength to fight back, sir. While the two were fighting, the victim took out his gun. The victim took a shot, but because they were so too close, he missed. Wait, how did that make any sort of sense? The defendant then picked up the opening, took the victim's gun, and ended it. That makes no sense! How can you miss? Hmm, the scenario you put together does make sense. Yes, sir. Blech. Yes, sir. Well, Mr. Wright, on the surface it does seem to make sense. However, I won't give up that easily. But please refrain from glaring at me like that. Now then, your cross-examination, please. During the channeling, the defendant saw her chance to stab the victim in the chest. There is quite a difference in height between Dr. Gray and the defendant. Add in body strength, and it seems unlikely that the defendant could have stabbed the victim. Now that you mention it, yeah, I guess... You think you could get away with such a flimsy reasoning, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Miss Maya Fey was in the middle of her channeling, was she not? Channeling with the Korean channeling technique, the medium physically changes. With the nurse's build, the defender could easily have been a match for the doctor. I don't believe it. She even studied up on Korean channeling technique. Like I said before, I am perfect. Uh, um, what you were talking about, uh, I don't quite get it. Never mind. Let's continue with the testimony. Of course, the victim used the last of his strength to fight Baxter. So, he was stabbed, but the stab wound wouldn't kill him. But if you think about the blood loss, he was probably hurt very pretty bad. How badly hurt would you say he was? Actually, I went to give, a bl give blood the other day, and afterwards I felt a little lightheaded and dizzy. I guess the damage was maybe about ten times the dizziness? <gasps> ah! Sorry. While the two were fighting, the victim took out his gun. Where in the world did that pistol come from? It looks like the victim, Dr. Gray, had specifically brought it in for that day. But a handgun? He got it off the black market about two days before the hand murder. Why did Dr. Gray bring a gun? Is he taking precautions against something? The victim took a shot, but because they were too close, he missed. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to do that. So, you're saying that the bullet hole in this costume has made... was made then? Poor guy is being getting lashed, I know, right? Sorry, pal, but yeah, that's what I think. The two of them were already fighting when a gunshot was fired. Why, I'm really glad you weren't hurt. The defendant then picked up the opening and took it, the victim's gun and ended it. Maya has never fun fired a gun in her life. The victim has already taken off the safety. With the safety off, even an amateur like you can fire it just by pulling the trigger. Even me. you understand? Avon Kama's logic is perfect. His testimony certainly does make it look- make us look very bad. But there's gotta be a contradiction in there somewhere, and uncovering it is going to uncover the truth. You can feel it. Alright, time to look over some evidence. Hmm. Ah. Alright, one year ago, not that. Uh, hmm. Can I actually... I don't know if I can. Uh, about eight inches off the ground. A small hole that... Ooh! 
small hole that looks like a bullet hole. I'm gonna look at the other stuff. I don't think this will have anything to do. Stab in the chest, gunpowder residue around the book of bullet hole. Yeah, it has to be the... Of course... He missed. Oh wait, no, I didn't meant to press that. Ah, uh, snap. Come on, go back, go back. Tab. This? Oh, it's not it! Okay, it has nothing to do with it, but I'm on the right track. What could it be? Stab in the chest and show you point, point blank. They were too close, but he missed. How can you miss this close? Let me check it. Oh, I can't click on anything. Oh, snap. What would it be? Maybe there's some things I could check. That's not enough to know anything there. The only thing I could... The two were fighting, the victim took out his gun. I can't think of anything. What is this? I pressed everything. Maya couldn't have planned this murder. She does not know all the alphabets yet! <laughs> Yeah, she couldn't think of up to plan... plan C. <laughs> but, um... Man, I thought it was up to something here. Um... This is the part that's getting to me right now. The victim took a shot, but because it was too close, he missed. Makes no sense. Um... Let me check this. Murdered during a channeling. My client who's arrested, so we can present people here. Maya's cousin, a challenging prodigy. Older sister, Mimi died. So we can't present or talk about her yet because we didn't even get into the discussion of someone else that could have been the murderer. Guy in a car's accident one year ago. It was Amy's sister. Photographer, prosecutor in Germany at age 13. And she's 18? It's not. Oh, hmm. What would this be? If they were too close. Okay, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna be testing some stuff. Alright, let's do this. So, I have only two thoughts. Which is, one would be the gun, which would be kind of stupid, but I'm just thinking, like, it might be just that obvious. Uh, hmm. Either the gun or the autopsy report. Could be the autopsy report, or it could be Maya's costume. Because I feel like if they were that close, there would absolutely be no way he couldn't could not hit like her leg or something. Obviously the attorney badge. Oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna try the costume first. Oh, it is. Missing the tiny horns costume. 
would be the prosecution's undoing. Eh? What do you mean? This little hole was actually created a huge hole in your testimony. I explain yourself, Mr. Wright. You said the two of them were fighting when the victim fired his gun at point blank. If that were true, then where's the gunpowder burn on this costume? Gunpowder burn? This is what you testified earlier. When something is shot from point blank, a burn area is left around a bullet hole. Oh! But there was not even a single trace of gunpowder burn on this costume. Just gunpowder. That is a very good point. And what exactly does this mean? It means that when the shot was fired, they were standing apart from each other. Hmm. Disappointed, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You think you could punch a hole in my logic like that? With the wishy-washy thinking like that, anyone could explain anything away. Then I implore you to prove my line of thinking. Let's see. In the middle of their fight, the victim pushed the offended away. And it was then that they were separated. That he fired. How was that? As if that were even possible. According to the testimony, the wound from the stabbing was very severe. The victim would not have been had the strength to push the defendant that far after that. Well, then. That's right. The defendant must have pushed the victim away. After stabbing him, she must have put some space between her and the doctor himself. And then while she was preparing to strike again, the doctor took his shot. There, that should seem satisfy even you. That does make an awful lot of sense. What do you think, Mr. Wright? I must be careful. I can't afford to make a single mistake here. Concentrate and think. Something doesn't make sense. There's a fatal flaw in her argument, Your Honor. F fatal? Flaw? Yow! Very interesting. I would love to see where this flaw is. Show me something that contradicts my explanation. There's a snag in her explanation somewhere. She put some distance between them before rushing in to make the final blow. And when she was about to strike, the doctor took a shot. There must be a piece of evidence that contradicts this line of thinking. Took a shot? Two shots fired. Oh wait. This one. Take a look at this. Why are you showing this to me, pal? Prosecutor Von Karma's explanation and the piece of evidence. Do not con contradict. Huh? <laughs> Looks like you need to use your brain a little more, pal. Ugh, being lectured by gumshoe of all people is so embarrassing. Come on, hurry up and get the thinking cap on. There has to be a snag in her explanation somewhere. She put some distance between them before rushing to make the final blow. And then when she was about to strike, the doctor took a shot. There must be a piece of evidence that contradicts this line of thinking. points. Alright, let's try again. Snag. So we already said the autopsy report and the gun. So my only guess... How about the knife? Take 
All right, is it is it this? Ah! All right, um, so we did Maya's costume, the knife, the gun, the autopsy report. Is it this? This is the piece of evidence that destroys your logic. What is that? A folding screen? I'd like to point out to the court's attention to the hole in this folding screen. Ugh! It looks like you already know what I'm talking about. Who? Where? What? Mr. Wright, your explanation, please. Are those two really that clueless? The, def the bullet went through the defendant's sleeve first and then to the folding screen. It passed through the height at approximately 8 inches off the ground, which means... When the shawl was fired, Maya, I mean the defendant, was not getting ready to strike, but it was actually squatting low to the ground. Order! Order! This changes everything! Please take a look at this diagram of the crime scene. The victim, Dr. Gray, was here when he was fired the shot, and the bullet hits this folding screen. It hit this location about 8 inches off the ground. At this time, the defendant was in this area. Uh, probably... Somewhere around here. Uh-oh. The judge's face just scrunched up like he smells some serious bad breath. Uh, um, that is... I mean... Wait, I just realized it's a brush this morning. Excuse me while I freshen up. Uh, sure. In the meantime, I want you to think about things through again, Mr. Knight. Uh, let's see. Ah, uh, of course. Whoops. What's done is done for now. I should focus on where Maya was at the time of the crime. At this time, the defendant was in this area. Oh, defendant. Defendant. Was it here? Oh man. Uh, to the right? So, would she be here? Would she be around here? I don't know! Where was Maya? What if she was like where the victim was? she be around here? We brute force and click every pixel. So I have no idea what Isn't it behind the zigzag? I thought that was where the killer was. Alright, if it's behind the, the folding screen. Behind the folding screen? Ugh. The victim and her attacker were fighting, were they not? Then why would the attacker be doing all the way back there? Oh. Um, can I just restart the save? Let me load the save again. <laughs> I lost so much health. I'd rather be full of health this time. The 
victim and his attacker were fighting, were they not? Then why would the attacker be all the way back there? Uh... You kept brute forcing it? I know, because I'm trying to figure it out. I didn't know. I thought that's where the killer was. When I said the killer, I meant like the person that was the imposter that was like, um... Who was Ine? I think her name was? So I, I ruled it completely out because I was like thinking that, um... She was the one that fired the shot from behind the folding screen, but it does make sense that maybe Maya was hiding. Where is the profiles? Yeah, I was thinking she was the one that was behind there. But now it's looking more unlikely that she was. Besides which, if the attacker was behind the folding screen, then how could the victim even know where to shoot? It's obvious impossible. Yeah, I guess so. Mr. Wright. Huh? Boy, did I just screw up royally? It's done, it's done. For now, I should focus on where Maya was at the time of the- Are you kidding me? I was wrong? Here. It was wrong! Where was she? Will we take a breather and think about it? I'm just looking at a guide. <laughs> at this point, I have no idea, so guide it is. Uh, let's see. Phoenix. Right. Justice for all. Cheater! Yup, I'm cheating. Chapter 2 Trial. Maybe top left ish? Top left, like here? Wait, that's this? That is so obscure! It's wrong too. Yeah, I'm just going to take a look. Um. <laughs> Wait, what what the heck? Where's the trial? Oh, there it is. Um My is a uh, my is escape cross. Wait, wait, wait. Two one trial. Uh this is very poorly done guide. Wait, where's the guide I used? Um where is it? Where is it? Where's the guide I used? The guide I used was much better. Uh oh, it doesn't have it. Darn. <laughs> Is this it? Yeah, here it is. Um. Wait, what? Trial begins, cross-examination. Uh, press on, Gumshoe's third statement. The transfer. Present the folding screen. Present the spot that left where the... Present the spot just left of the hole where on the west side. Alright, let's, let's reload the save. Let's reload the save. Oh. Uh, it would be have to be here, right? It says west. Of the folding screen. Wait, would it be? No, I already picked that. So it would be here. I already did this. And I thought I was right, and then it just said I was wrong. Jeez. Present the spot just left 
of where the hole is in the west side. I want to get with <laughs> Just left as a hole? <laughs> um, hmm. Present the voting screen. Present the spot just left of where the hole is. The west side. Is the west side hole? So you're saying here? Wrong. Why is it so hard? Huh? I wish I had a picture. Because... Just being told... Left of the west side is not a good explanation. <laughs> uh... Even with the guy, this is still hard. Um... Present the spot just left. So this is left. On the west side. So that'll be there. Wait, there we go. W wait a second. We all know that the defender was close to the ground based on the height of the bullet hole. But how could you gauge a distance from that? Isn't it possible that the defendant was standing much closer to the victim? That's impossible. But why? You of all people should know the answer to that question, Miss Von Karma. If she were a uh, shot from somewhere closer, that would be the gunpowder burns present. However, there is nothing of the sort around the bullet hole in this costume. <gasps> Curse you, Mr. Phoenix, you're right. You. Hmm. I believe it's now been proven that the defender was standing away from the victim when, when she was shot at. But do you think this has changed the defendant's situation? It changes everything. Honestly, Your Honor, this changes everything. The prosecution has claimed that the defendant was aiming to kill by stabbing. If that were true, delivering the final strike with the knife would be ideal. However, what, where and what was the defendant doing at that time? Squatting all the way by the folding screen. Exactly. If Maayafe was a real murderer, why would she be by the folding screen instead of preparing to strike? <laughs> Upon further consideration, it does make very little sense. Yeah, I figured there had to be a reason. Figuring out that proving your, the logic behind everything is your job. Alright, with this, the rest of the trial should be up in the... the last radius of disaster. You are such a smart man, Mr. Phoenix Wright. To think you've been able to take a completely hopeless case to this point. Now that I know why Papa had a tough time with you. Hmm... You amuse me. Ugh. All things to inherit. Why does she have to have this smarmy smile? Detective. How dare you damage my perfect logic. Uh huh? How was it my fault? You star repairer, you're standing by first removing that three strangle tea. Oh, and rest assured, your punishment will come later. But a punishment? Yeah, well then, Your Honor. I think I had all I had to take to this detective's face. I think it's time to call the next witness. Next witness? That's gotta be Loda. Very well. The court will take a five-minute recess. After we reconvene, we will hear from the next witness. <laughs> we are big braining. It is time! We have plenty of time for the next part.
June 21st, 11.37 a.m. Phew, that was a close one. I know you were giving your all to defend me, but all I could feel is a death penalty hanging in the air. I feel like I was pretty close to dying myself. But you were wonderful out there. You listened carefully, made theories, and tricked everyone into believing you. But thanks, wait, tricked? That must be the lawyer's secret technique, right? Look at those blood-hungry eyes. <laughs> they could eat you alive. By the way, by the way, is the next witness who I think it is? Yeah, I think it's pretty sure Loda Hart. Oh, I guess there's no escaping her, huh? Remember, Nick, you promised you'd save me. If you lose me, this, my sister's ghost will come after you and haunt you. My sister? Um, are you talking about Mystic Mia? Yeah, you remember her, Pearly. He wants punishment for sure, he sure does. <laughs> My sister was a super good lawyer. She was also Nick's teacher. Oh, didn't know that. June 21st, 11.43 a.m. Court will now reconvene. Now the first order of... I don't want to hear it, old man. After I call my witness, sit there quietly and watch like a good little boy. <laughs> y yes, sir. But bring on in the photographer who witnessed the channeling. Witness, your name and occupation, if you please. Hey, Phoenix, how you doing? Just fine. So about this, didn't exactly have the chance, you know. <laughs> Name and occupation. I declare when tarnation. <laughs> hey, judge, this here is violence against my fair self. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. That ain't fine. That's a whip. <laughs> There's no need for foolish outcries from foolishy foolish fools. Just hurry up and d testify what happened in the day of the murder. I'd say lock Maya up for the sake of all innocent people. <laughs> no, don't lock Maya up. I haven't even gotten to see my name and job yet. The name's Luda Hart, paranormal photographer, and here to testify. Karma needs to have Maya's roommate too. <laughs> Now, oh, now, let's all be one big happy family, okay? <sighs> Only the doc and defendant went into the channeling chamber. We were waiting outside the door and then bang, we hear the, this gunshot. <laughs> what happened? Mr. Lawyer brought Oberg the door down and then rushed into the room. Inside was a dead victim and the defendant waving the pistol around. I swear, other than those two, there were no one else in the room. And did you pick a picture of the scene right after the murder took place? Wrecking course. Uh, excuse me. Reckon course? It's short for yeah, reckon? Of course I did. Yeah! <laughs> Does it look like I care? Just hurry up and show your picture to the court. Ow! Why are you getting bugged? Do you not like the voice I gave? Um, Fun Karma? <laughs> the moment of truth will be in that picture. Um, let's see here. Uh, this here's the picture. Thank you for the head pads. Oh, snap. Hmm. That would certainly seem only the defendant and the victim were in that room. Are you ready, Mr. Phoenix Wright? I will clear all doubt about Maya through this cross-examination. Just watch me. Oh, 
Hopefully the doc didn't defend it went into the channeling chamber. Was it really only those two that went in? Oh my gosh, I keep making my model go crazy! Was it really those two that went in? What are you babbling about? Were you two? You were there too, were you not? Uh, why don't you answer that yourself? Was it really just the two of them? Yes, Mr. Gray and Maya were the only two that went into the room. Actually, it can't be my aunt. So, she would have shot the photographer? No, it wouldn't! Were you there during the street? <laughs> I think I have to take a drink of water. My nose is really blocked right now, so I sound very nasally. Hold on. You can't have the defense testifying against his own client. Anyway, folks, only the two of them went to the channeling chamber, you hear? But you knew about the very beginning, didn't you? Witness continue. We were waiting outside the door and then BANG! We hear this gunshot. Mr. Oops. So let's uh, press this. Was it really a gunshot? Are you insane? You must have heard it as well. Why don't you testify to the court, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Was it really a gunshot? Y yes, I think it sounded like a gunshot. But why are you here listening to the defense testify? And the world just becomes a little crueler. I heard a gunshot long time ago, so I know. I tell you there was a gunshot I heard. Now, this is where the story heats up. Mr. Lawyer broke the door down, and then we rushed into the room. So, let me get this straight. This Mr. Lawyer here broke down the door. Honestly, Mr. Wright, why don't you tell us what happened then? Um, yes, Miss Von Karma, I broke the door down, sorry. Why does this feel like an inquisition? No need to be apologizing. That was great, you're a real man. Oh, really? That was really something I would like to see. The judge is smiling rather openly. I take that as a good sign. And? What did you see once you broke in? Hello, Shinji! How are you? Are you sure it was the defendant, Maya Faye? Sure. I'm sure I'm sure. Lotus seems awfully confident in her testimony. Press harder? Loda, please, think back to that day one more time. Oh, what you getting at? How oh, people doing good too? Oh, my hands feel dry. After trying to move my hand, it's like having a, a stiff glove on. Remember what you said when you broke into that room? Is there a button I could press to keep going? No, there is not. It's the murder! I was murdered. Loda! At a time like this! Times like this is a perfect for snapping up shots! But anyway, what's going on here? Scal, she... Maya? When you saw the murder at that time, you couldn't even tell if that was Maya or not. Am I correct? Uh, um, well, yeah, see. You know, it could have been somebody dressed up as Maya. Order, Miss Hart. You're here to present accurate testimony. Y yeah, uh, so sorry. Good, this shifts things back to my side. 
But as te defense a lawyer, your defense is com terribly lacking, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Witness, think back to when those two entered the channeling chamber. Her hair did happen to be covering her face. Yeah, it was. When they entered... One of those people will enter the cham chamber with my Faye, correct? Yeah, that's right! Yeah, it was Maya that went in. Hmm. Looks like we come to a collective conclusion. The person that was in this picture is most certainly Maya Faye. Exactly. Right, so I was trapped like the one. Again! I swear, other than those two, there were no one else in the room. Are you absolutely certain of that? Sure I am. But that old witch chased us out of the room, so... Old witch? Does she mean Morgan Faye? There was no one else in there, and you know it. The channeling chamber was very dark, almost pitch black. Was there some, really no one that was in there? How about... Behind the folding screen? Uh, her hair hat. Oh, yeah. I already did read that. What about behind the folding screen? Did you check back there? Oh my gosh, Opal! Thank you for the sub! Opal Phoenix has descended to the underworld. Take that. <laughs> A foolishly foolish fool's foolish foolery. <laughs> Thank you, Opal! I hope you have a good day. Thank you for the three months. Wrecking given. Huh? What in the... Wreck given. You know, you reckon? That's a given. That took me a good look around the room once. I hope you're doing well. I hope you are too. Maybe that witch had something that works uh, for her to kill him for a reason. So the person I said that was my hypo uh, hypo hypothesis, or what I'm, I'm guessing, who killed him? Which was, this is my guess who killed him, was this girl. Mimi Mimi. That's who I guessed who it was because she has a reason to kill. That's why I believe it's her. And she was also feigning ignorance and she was in a weird spot when we found her. She was like sleeping in uh, the restroom for the other, uh, what do they call them? Are they shamans or something? Yeah, she was like sleeping in that room and um, yeah, for some reason she was just there. And she had a very strong relationship to the person who was this girl who was murdered by this man. So he was the one that murdered her, and this is her sister. So she has all the reason to do it. All Maya did was that she was channeling a spirit inside of her, and she was set up, pretty much. I think so too. There's no way she's that dumb. <laughs> yes, yeah, she's definitely faking her, her, uh, her intelligence. There ain't no way anyone was hanging out behind that full folding screen. Hmm. If I may have a word with you, Miss Hart. Uh, what? You got a problem? Wreck given. I mean, I am having a little difficulty understanding you. If you would stop saying the things like wreck and give- Oh! Now then. Mr. Phoenix Rat. Do you see a problem with the testimony or don't you? Ugh. Just as I thought. There's nothing wrong with her testimony. I was with her, so I know she's telling the truth. I think so too. There ain't- Yeah. Enough. It seems that there is no issues with Miss Hart's testimony. At the time of the crime. Only two people were in the channeling chamber. Ugh. Channeling chamber. And the victim, Dr. Turner Gray, and her defendant, Maya Faye. Hmm. The face's defendant could not be verified in this picture. However, if we were to think about the circumstances, it would have been the defendant. What am I gonna do? I just let this go. What is it, Mr. Wright? You look as though you have something to say. If I make this one wrong move, I'm gonna have to be the judge against me. Alright, let's let's save. I don't have that much health left. 
Is there anything that I can present to prove that it's not Maya in the photo? Uh, present evidence. Your Honor. Mr. Wright. Is it possible that the person in this photo is not the defendant? W what? Do you know what you're proposing? Y yeah! That's just plain fool's talk! Thanks, guys. I, your show of support was just great. Now, then, Mr. Wright, please show the court some proof. Prove to this court that the person in this photo is not Maya Faye. Uh, let's see. Is there a way I can look at the picture a little bit better? Um... She is right-handed. How can we prove it's not Maya Faye? Nah. Yeah, her hair is that long. Uh, I'm trying to look at anything here to prove it's not her because we have to present with an item. Wait, wait, wait. What about the outfit? Is, is there blood? I don't see blood. Wait, 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 but when we did see her, she did have blood on her shirt, so it was her definitely. Um... Darn, I think that really was her. Yeah, I think that was her. Maya's ball. I think that was her. I'm gonna be wrong. Oh, wait, I'm right? Here is your proof. Objection. Is there a problem? Oh, no, I thought it would work on my inflections. Just wondering what an objection with a twist of you're wrong sounds like. Mr. Wright, I'm sorry, but I don't follow your logic. All right, I don't think there is a way to prove it. Um, let me see. You can't present anything yet. Okay. Understood. So, I was good to have saved before then. Let me load. Okay, can't present anything yet. Well, Mr. Wright, nothing, Your Honor. That's very smart of you, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You really should give up get of trying to prove this is not my affair. You didn't say anything about giving up. I just don't think I have the right piece of evidence to prove my argument. And that's enough. I is this it? Is this all I could do? I think this is quite obvious of this court that the verdict is not... of guilt not guilty is not possible. I told you. Totally 100% impossible. Ms. Von Karma, do you have any further questions for this witness? Having established the defendant's guilt, further questioning won't be needed. What about the defense? No further questions, I presume? I couldn't protect Maya. The defense? The defense. Phoenix. Phoenix, you can't make that kind of face. A lawyer is someone who smiles no matter how bad it gets. M Mia! <laughs> oh, what the heck, Pearl? <laughs> Pearl, what did you do? <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> oh! <laughs> I guess I just made it in time, wouldn't you say? You- you- but Pearls! <laughs> This is Pearl! This is not Maya! Her clothes are a bit small. <laughs> anyway, what are you uh, waiting for, Phoenix? Let's go. B but how? She's already taken away every advantage. <laughs> it's like, wow! Small clothes! <laughs> 
take advantage is still in your hand. Think carefully one more time about what you saw in the channeling chamber. Do you remember what you told me yesterday? I think I, right as he hallucinating. He's not hallucinating. Pearls is just channeling Mia into her body. <laughs> D Dr. Gray. Hi, Natsu. What? Luda, at a time like this. That would explain a lot of things. No, he is not hallucinating. That is actually happening. Times like this are perfect for snapping up shots. You see, there's one final piece of the puzzle. If there was an eye tracker right now, I am just staring at her boobs. <laughs> oh my gosh. You see, there is one final piece to this puzzle. Mia? <laughs> Yo! I... The moment they said that the, the clothes were too tight, I just can't stop looking. Question. Loda one more time, Phoenix. I don't know if she's doing it unconsciously or on purpose, but... She's not testifying truthfully. Move on. We have some explanation to It's fine. <laughs> I am appreciating the figure. <laughs> now then, this court would like to end this cross-examination period. Move back. Please wait, Your Honor. The defense would like to question that the witness testify one more time. Overruled. And we res respectfully. Exactly. <laughs> Hey, Natsu! I'm afraid you're too late, Mr. Wright. The cross-examination has already ended. Furthermore, any unrelated- Ah! Oh! <laughs> it's fine. Allow- It's a- Allow another testimony. Oh, I've involved Karma's case is perfect. Absolutely flawless. And what's a better time for this for you to see that? But- But I mean- I have some place I must go after this. All right, I'll allow it. Made it to chapter two of Cold Seal. Let's go! You made it so far. I hope you guys are doing good. I am. I hope you're doing well too, Flame. Uh, Miss Hart, hurry, give us another testimony. Well, heck, how am I supposed to talk about? Please tell us once more what happened when you burst into the channeling chamber. Okay, you got it. See? You go through to the judge somehow, right? Well, it was Von Karma's whip that got to him. Oh, flame, stress. When we broke into that room, all I could focus was Maya. I was, uh, kind of scared of the dead body, so I didn't take a good look at it. I'm really bad when it comes to blood and ghosts and stuff. I still managed to point my carrot at Maya and take a shot. Nothing sounds more different than before before. Some parts of her testimony were very vague. I should press on her for those sections. Struggle all you like, and taste the bitterness of your defeat. Well, amuse me with your useless questions, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I'm waiting. <laughs> we got this, Loda! When we broke into that room, all I could focus was Maya. So, what did she look like? You know, she looked almost like a different person. A, a different person? She may have seemed to be a different person. However, she was still Maya Fey. We have already made that point abundantly clear. Yes, that is true. Well then, Miss Hart, did you happen to see anything else? I was, uh... I was scared of the dead body, so I didn't take a good look at it. Then perhaps the body was not Miss Dr. Gray at all. Eh? Well, well, I reckon that's possible. If the body inside the room was not of Dr. Gray, then whose body wasn't not Mr. Phoenix Wright? Well, if it was to be my after the channeling, or maybe... <laughs> 
foolish fool spouting foolish foolishness just as I expected for foolish fools such as you. If it were to be the case, then it would be that my fae is in fact dead. And that would make- oh god, my nose, it is clogged. I think my nose gets clogged whenever I try to do uh, different voices and stuff, and it's like, I don't know, making my nose open and close, open and close. And that would make the defendant's chair quite a lonely place, wouldn't it? Ugh, sorry, Maya. Are you all done here? Can I continue? You foolish fool who is so also foolish. I'm really bad when it comes to blood and ghosts and stuff. And even knowing that, you still persist in being a paranormal photographer? That's how getting out of the of this here business. This gal's gonna get dirt on the stars and be tabloid photographer from now on. She goes through her jobs faster than a baby through diapers. <laughs> Mr. Phoenix Wright. Would it kill you to stay on topic for a change? Fools of Fools sounds like a video game title. Well, would it, Mr. Wright? Nice tag team in stereo. Guess I should be grateful it's being now 5.1. 5, 5, 5 to 1. But I still managed to get a point of my camera at Maya and take a shot. Two, right? Two what? Two shots. You took two shots. But only one was submitted as evidence. Not two. 30 stream streak! Thank you. I, that's crazy. Miss Hart. Where is the other picture you've been withholding? Why do you always have two pictures and don't show them? No, 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 you got it all wrong. It's not me. I didn't mean anything bad. I know I just can't be a little me, but I ain't evil. Alright, hydrate. Okay, uh, drinking that water really did help. Let me take another drink of water. Yes, now is the first one to get to 90 uh, stream streak. Well, at least she knows herself. Then what, why do you have not shown this other picture to the court yet? Well, it ain't that obvious. That prosecutor woman told me to shut my trap about it. What? V Von Karma! You little cheater! <laughs> Miss Von Karma, you were hiding critical evidence! Unforgivable, Von Karma. Suppressing evidence like this? You're just as bad as your father. Your Honor, the defense asks that the prosecutor Von Karma be held in contempt- Oh! Mm. Well, yeah, oh. Me? In contempt of court? You can't be serious. But you hid evidence from the court on purpose. That's... that's... That's not fair. The Phoenix! Are you a lawyer or are you a school child? Uh, I was so angry I lost my composure. Miss Von Karma, would you care to explain yourself to the court? I thought this picture... <laughs> I thought this picture was not important and thus felt no need to submit it. That's all. How could you think? The pictures were no more than or less the same, so why not bother with the second? I mean, it's just more trouble than it's worth for me to submit this as evidence. More trouble than it's worth? How... how could you say that? If you would like to say so badly, I'll submit it. Oh, I'll see something, alright. What? What the heck? We. That is the dead woman's face. So that really was Maya. 
Or wait. Wait a minute. If she opens her eyes, does she, would she look the same? I wonder. Would she look the same? You know what? Neither of them show in the illustration about the little line over the lip. So it could be either of those two. And since her eyes are closed, you can't really tell her what her eyes look like. It would have been too easy, wouldn't it? What is this? What is this picture? It's obviously the second picture the witness took of the day of the scene of the crime. Well, it's a little off-center, but that's what you get with a nervous amateur. That's definitely not Mia or Maya. I think it's either Maya when she's like channeled or if that's the woman disguised as Maya. It's very hard to tell because you already see what happened to Pearl. Pearl just completely transfigured into another person, both physically and her face. Uh, I think the poor part here is the person in this picture. That is most definitely not Maya Fey. What is the meaning of this? This might be a break that I was looking for. Now, should I or should I not insist that this person in the picture is not Maya? Uh, let's drop the issue. Let me check. I think it might actually be her. Oh, wait. Uh, you're given a choice to insist or not. Either choice, Karma presents another picture. Uh, things are going downhill. You look at this little second picture. You wonder if something's wrong with it. Say, I can prove it. You examine the photo and... Oh, wait. Oh, it's not Maya? It's not... It's not Maya? Should I? Yeah, I'll say this is not Maya. Your Honor, as you can plainly see, that person in the picture is not Maya Fey. Yes, I see that. It's just not her face. Her whole body has taken on a different appearance. There's only one conclusion that can be drawn, then. That somehow is another person snuck in and traded places with the defendant. Order. Order. Well, yes, I believe you are correct, Mr. Wright. The person who was inside the channeling chamber was not Maya Fey. Mia, we did it. You are too soft. Huh? You're softer than Aunt Morgan's strawberry desserts, Phoenix. Take a look at the prosecutor on Karma's face. She, she's smiling. I think you had better continue to worry, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Miss Von Karma, what do you mean by that? Your Honor. I'd like you to take a look at this picture. Oh! This was taken me by- Oh, I gotta pause real quick. There's a cat. They're kind of like- The cats are fighting. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Okay, I'm all good now. This was taken yesterday at Detention Center's visitor room. This is Mr. Phoenix Wright and the defendant, Maya Fey, during his visit. M Maya Fey? But isn't this a totally different person? She looks this way because she is obviously in the middle of a channeling a spirit. She really does her research. Cat fight happening in movies room. The girls are fighting. It's unbelievable that she can. Yet it is the truth. When Maya Fey is in that state, she physically changes into the person she's calling. Miss Von Karma, a word if I may. But Mia? 
Taking pictures of someone during a private visit is illegal. Surely you must know that the picture can't be submitted as evidence. Obviously. I know this picture is illegal. I told you guys, he is not cuckoo in the head. He's actually seeing this. This is not, this is not like figurative or metaphor. He's actually, everybody can see this. Wait, I gotta mute again. All right, I'm right back. Obviously, I know this picture is illegal. I never intended to submit it as evidence in the first place. Mass hallucinating. Everybody's hallucinating. But what is she? From the moment I showed this picture to the court, this case became all mine. After all, this picture is how it's been forever burned into the judge's mind. I, I don't have even a single witty line. It looks like we've been had. I don't claim to understand this, and I still cannot believe it. Are you saying that this person, this person is the defendant, Maya Fey? I give up here, the trial will end. I believe in the term mass hysteria. <laughs> but if I slip up and say something wrong, it will cost me. Is there any way I can prevent, uh, prove that the person in the picture is Maya Fey? I prove it. Your Honor. Oh, the fire has returned to your eyes, I see. This picture. Within this picture lies a critical contradiction to all the testimony up till now. Oh. oh. I think they left. <laughs> the third cat has arrived. <laughs> we we synced? <laughs> Within this picture lies a critical contradiction to all the testimony up till now. A, a contradiction? So, you think you have spotted a problem in this picture? You then earn your keep. Oh god. Why don't you point out exactly what's strange about it? Alright, um... Oh my gosh, I thought I knew. Uh, what is it? So, going downhill, wasn't there a bullet hole there? <gasps> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The, the screen. Wait, where's the screen? I can't see the screen. Okay, so maybe it's not that. Wait, I think the cats are taking, taking your face again. No, nah, they're not in front of my face. They're not in front of my face. I think it's whenever I'm grabbing for something behind my... um my camera, and I grab it towards me, it kind of goes like... <laughs> yeah, it makes my, my face go crazy. I have to keep an eye on that. Maybe I should move this so it doesn't do that. Maybe it's taking the tracking. All right. What is it that I need to take? Um, Things are going downhill with us. Um... Say, I can prove it. You examine the photo. Look at the right hand left sleeve. Oh, 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 oh. Her sleeve. Left sleeve. Her left sleeve, right? So, left. Right here. Please direct your attention here. To, to the sleeve. But, but there isn't anything odd about it. And that is exactly why it's so odd. Something that should be there is suddenly missing. Should be there. <gasps> Excuse me. There was a bullet hole in the sleeve of the defendant's costume. In that case, then it should be in this picture as well. Miss Von Karma, you, you, you intend to hide this valuable piece of evidence? You must certainly be assigned to the penalty for this. All right, this should do some major damage to our argument. Don't celebrate yet. You like to bring down the mood, don't you? Take a look at Miss Von Karma's face. 
Ugh, she's got a condescending grin plastered all over her face again. Tsk, tsk. Jumping the gun I again, I see. Your Honor. I'd like to extend an apology on the behalf of those incompetent fools. Wait, what do you mean? What um, incompetent fools? If these fools down at the pre precinct had missed the bullet hole, they would have gotten a report about it. And as it, I didn't, could have been known that this picture was any value to the case. Is that a pun she made? Wait. I don't remember what she said. <laughs> I can't look at the log, because there is no log. Oh, I see. She's lying through her teeth, and I know it. Everyone knew about everything. The bullet hole, the picture, everything. But you can't prove that. Francesca von Karma's idea of a perfect case is quite fascinating, don't you think? She said jumping the gun. No, I don't... I think that's just a, a saying. I don't think anyone was jumping a gun. Or jumping over a gun, pretty much. There was really a bullet hole there. Your Honor, uh, you need not worry. If you must assign a penalty, I'll personally make sure that the detective gets what's coming. I'm sure there will be a great gnashing of teeth at this next salary discussion. Poor Gumshoe. In any case, this is a very big problem. When the defendant was taken into custody, her costume had a bullet hole in the sleeve. However, from this photo, it would appear that right after the shooting, there was none. The judge was confused by this strange chick twist of events. This is your chance, Phoenix. Loot all you got into this one shot, alright? Even if she didn't try to hide the evidence, she doesn't disprove the bullet evidence. Yeah. Got it. Watch this, Maya. Your Honor. There's only one logical explanation for the contradiction. Uh, the shooter is someone else, right? Let me see. Yeah, it is. I'm only taking precautions because I didn't save. And also, I only got one life left. <laughs> so I'm gonna make my assumption first and then look at the answer. <laughs> The defendant's sleeve had a bullet hole in it. However, this person clearly does not. And there can only be one explanation. This person who shot Dr. Gray was not its defendant, but a different person altogether. What? Order. 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 If is not restored, then I'll suspend this trial. Yeah! Yeah! yeah why me? The defense. The defense is an argument to a complete mess. A complete mess? I fail to see how. Please enlighten us. Witness. What the heck? Is there any way to ask a gal for a favor? Be quiet, you. You were the one who said it was only two of them when you entered the room. Well, you know, if you were lying, I swear with my whip that you will see the last thing you see. Uh, uh, look, sis, you're looking mighty scary, so why don't say you- uh, I swear I wasn't lying or nothing! There wasn't anyone in the room, honest! You see? Now we don't need this, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Where did the defendant vanish to? Where did the other woman appear from? Um, why is it lately I want to do is cry? Well, if the person in this picture is not the defendant, then this poses two very big questions. First, where did the defendant vanish to? And second, where did this person come from? That's right. Now hurry up and answer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Come on, you can't fall apart here, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I can't believe that even Mia is calling me by my full name. <laughs> but, I mean, how am I supposed to prove something like this? Had enough yet, Mr. Phoenix Wright? 
Or did you think you had enough of you to turn things around even now? To turn things around. That's right. Mia would always turn things around and change her perspective. Phoenix? So, where did this intruder come from and where did Maya disappear to? We need to look at the situation from a different angle. Let's see. Where did... What if before we broke in, the third person was already in the room? And what if Maya had already left the room somehow? I could prove that either one of those conditions were true. Mr. Wright, let's hear what you come up with. I think what happened before we forced away the channel chamber is a third person had entered it, Maya had left the room. Something I can't explain that. Third person had... Uh, no. Something I can't explain yet, right? Maya had left the room. Oh! Oh, snap. Maya had left the channeling chamber at some point. And the defense can prove this. Oh, how foolish fool makes a foolish face while dreaming of foolish, foolish dreams. Maya was being looked after by, by her aunt, Aunt Morgan Fay. The chances of her leaving the crime scene is lower than the detect detective's salary. Anyway, let's see some evidence. Proved from the murder until the time of rest, his defendant had left the room. So, let me check the fame manner. Channeling chamber, there's no way for that. Um, is it this? The black key? Let me see. Aha! It is the black key! Miss Hart, do you remember this key? Um, well, I've seen it. Hey, that's the channeling chamber key, right? Before the channeling chamber started, Maya locked her the room door from the inside that. The defendant herself locked the door. Yeah, that's why we all couldn't get in the door open. That key's the only one of a kind, after all. Oh, a one of a kind, you say? Wait, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Yes, it looks like she's catching on. I'm afraid to ask, but... Why is that key currently in your possession? Huh? What do you mean? Maya locked herself in. The key should have been with her. Yes, agreed. However, she did not have the key at the time of her arrest. Oh, well, ain't that a key? So you came in- uh, So how come you're holding it? I got this as a present from a certain little girl. And that little girl was nowhere near the crime scene at the time. But th that's preposter preposterous! <laughs> That means that Maya Faye must have left the room. If she had not, then I would have been holding this key you see before you. N no! <laughs> Seems we have come to an impasse. This picture has clearly captured the face of the murderer. However, this person is defended or not. The defendant is arguing that this person is not the defendant. Furthermore, as proof of this key... Wait. Oh, hydrate! I will hydrate right now! Oh, I didn't see you say salute, Opal! Thank you! Furthermore, as proof, this key has been submitted as evidence. Ms. Von Karma. How can this be? At this point in time, a verdict of the defendant's guilt is not possible. My perfect case. Oh, my perfect case! How is there a flaw in my perfect case? Do you think- Don't think you have won yet, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I am a prodigy. I have never lost a case. Alright, I'll mute. Hey, hey, Jerry. Lagging bad? Is there lag? Oh, no. There's lag? No way. Uh. 
I don't intend to lose here in this courtroom like a fool like you. I don't care what I have to do. I will get to my guilty verdict. Thank you for the high path. That's enough. If you would like to continue, do so in the lobby. Court will reconvene tomorrow at 10 a.m. That is all. Court is adjourned. Next time, we are going to get the actual murder, and now we got out of my out of this hot mess. Wow! That was you, Pearly? You summoned my sis? Yes, I felt I had no choice. Great calling, Pearly. I knew you were special. Hey, Nick, did you know? Um, yeah, it's not like anyone else in there could have done that. Hmm, Nick. I know you're trying really hard and all, but I really don't remember ever leaving that room. I don't think a third that a third person could have gone in that room. Yeah. Yeah, lagging on the phone. No. Oh. Uh, Twitch, why? Well, at least we have until tomorrow to figure things out. Like what happened in that room, for instance. Yeah, I'm counting on you. Uh, I am the two of you. Oh, by the way, Nick, do you think you can take Pearly back home for me? Sure. Alright, Pearls, ready to go buy some tickets? A t t ticket Poor thing, she's so sheltered. Alright, we reached a good ending point! Let's go! Okay, this is a good place to stop here for now. We finally finished the trial for Maya's um trial. So let's see, who shall we raid? I'm gonna move this to the side so it's a little bit easier to see. Um, I'm gonna make sure I'm only seeing people I follow. I am... Hmm. Either Noemi or Izzy. They're both doing art right now. I think I'm going to go for Noemi. So yeah, let's go raid it. Noemi! Alright guys, I will see you. Thank you so much for coming and I hope you guys have a good day. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye!